Okay, for my next DIY video, I'm gonna show you guys how to replace, install a new window on a stucco house. Let's get started. Okay, today I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to replace <clears throat> um, a window with stucco around it. So what I already started here is I already started to cut the stucco trying to get back to this lip right there that's onto your wood so I'm using a circular saw with the masonry bit so I mean you can use a grinder with a masonry bit a diamond blade but I'm gonna use a circular saw to start it off I drew a line an inch inch and a half all the way around it that way I can make sure we get it right so now I'm going to cut this. Make sure you wear your safety glasses and the mask. We're done. ready to come out I had to replace this one because the window broke put that board there for temporary but it's time to change this one out it's got this inch and a quarter flange metal flange right here the new windows come with a plastic flange so we pop this window out pop the other one in we got this gap right here we need to fill with stucco you could buy the windows with a inch and a half two inch lip that'll cover this gap but I like to fill it in with stucco to make it look like my other windows. Let me show you a couple windows I did not too long ago. Right here in the patio, I did these two windows not too long ago. They have the, the grids. I like the cross grids in there. See how they look? Stucco. Pull all the nails out of the flange here. So this window's ready to come out. Like now I'm gonna go inside and measure my rough cut. Okay, now I'm gonna measure the rough measurements from the inside. <clears throat> I removed the windowsill sheetrock because it was kind of messed up. You don't really have to, but I I did. So now I'm gonna measure my width. My width is 73 and three quarters. And the height is 36 and a half. So that's my rough measurements. That's the measurements you take down to Home Depot or wherever you order. You're gonna order your window and they'll take a half inch off each, the height and the width. And then that way the window fits right in there. Go to Home Depot now and special order my window. You need them. All right, we got the window. I, I need some help. So, I was ready to install it. Okay, okay that didn't work. Okay. See, like this one here is a plastic flange. It's got a lot more, a lot more holes. So I just put a screw in every other one. I already got the top and on the bottom. So now what we have to do is we have to put some um, stucco in here. So I'm gonna be doing that tomorrow. But inside right now, I'm gonna go inside and do the foam. Okay, now we have to fill the 
gaps with the insulated foam. Okay, I'm working on my windowsill now. I already shaved all the, the foam off. So I measured it, it's two and a half inches. So I'm going all the way around with it. Okay, I got on my window sill all the way around. Now I'm gonna put the corner bead on. Just measure it. This is for your, uh, you put your mud on. It goes on right over here. Okay, that's my first coat of the mud. Tomorrow, uh, I'll sand it, give it another coat, and then we can paint it, and the inside will be done. And we'll be going outside and doing stucco work. While this is drying, I'll be outside uh, doing some stucco. So I'll show you when I get out there. Okay, now we're ready to stucco. I put some lathing wire in there. That way, uh, <clears throat> stucco has something to adhere to. You put that over your flashing. So, let me go mix up some stucco and we'll come back and do my brown coat and scratch coat. Okay, there it is there. I just finished the brown coat, scratch coat. Let that baby dry for 48 hours. I'm gonna do my final stucco coat. Okay, the very last thing we do is we use a soft float. And float it in to match your texture, like so. It makes sure you feather it down so it'll blend in when you paint it. So there it is there. There it is there. We're done inside. I got two coats of paint on there. Window seals nice and tight looking. And go outside tomorrow, paint the stucco, and we'll be done with this project. There it is there. This project is complete. Thank you for watching my DIY video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below.